Well, good morning and welcome back to Harvey Wet Dog, where we're having another play with the PXW Z190 in the version 4 firmware. Uh, today I'll try and give you a bit more of an idea of what you see when the camera doesn't have any adjustments applied to it in post and then we'll use a few wipes to show how you can enhance that image for use with Rec 709 um, and also I'm doing things like hopefully using the face detection software and I'm also making some proxy recordings for the phone so that I can just check my output. So without further ado, we'll just run through the same as we did last time and have some general shots around the field. Thank you. Once again we are shooting in live HGL live mode 4K HDR For some reason the dogs want to do this play fighting again I fear he's going back off to the hole he's decided to dig in the middle of the field. Yep, that's his hole. Which is a little bit flatter than I'd like, according to the video signal monitor. See, that is the ND filter tends to take it down. And interestingly, I can initiate the proxy recording off my phone, but I can't initiate it from the camera. That is a pointer digging in HLG Live. So if we just wipe across, that's what the image straight off the camera looks like. Well, as straight off the camera as we can do and then wipe back and that's the settings that I'm using in Premiere Pro just to make that signal acceptable to my eye in Rec 709 and as you know these things are very personal and some people will like that image some won't I'm certainly not liking the amount of dirt he's digging out of there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go and shout at him. There now follows a short interlude while a man tries and stops a, a pointer doing what a pointer's got to do. Oh, he's wandered off, that's good. <laughs> and piddled. The other thing that a pointer's got to do. 
general shot across the field. That's with my settings applied in Premiere Pro. And that's how it looks straight out the camera. There we are in natural mode. Just wipe that and that's the raw image. Wipe back and that's with my correction. And he's obviously tired now, having um, got himself in a right state. Gritty. Well, whatever he's been digging for, he's got. I've got a horrible feeling it's a hedgehog. I shall now have to go over and take it off him. We're fine, it isn't a hedgehog, it's just a horrible clump of muddy earth. Attraction of witches, I don't know, but at least it gave us something for the video, didn't it? Well, the light's not very good. Um, focus is particularly unconvincing. And he's wrecking the field. There we are, a little bit more playing about with the camera. I've got to say I felt the um, face detection was a little bit hit and miss. Um, I'll just have to see how that's turned out. Uh, I can see the image up there on the camera and I, from what I can see it hasn't got the uh, uh, square around my face so I'll have to have another look at that. Excuse the dogs, um, Boris has been particularly naughty today. Um, but we're, we're still in um, natural mode, so I'll just show you how that looks with my filters and without. And what I want to do longer term is record in hybrid log gamma, but put my output in Rec 709. I believe that will help me future-proof my output um, and so if HDR becomes much more widespread much easier to apply through YouTube then I can move over to HDR output and I can go back to my old video and put that into HDR output 
But for now, I'll stick with SDR and 709 in terms of what I put onto YouTube, because I think that's generally more acceptable to most people. Uh, so I hope you found that useful. Um, I'm really just keeping using the camera so that by the time the eventing season, the dressage season starts again, I'm in a position to use it confidently because I haven't really used it a lot. Um, although I was pleased to see uh, Olivia Towers put a video out last week of her horse going to Grand Prix and that was one of the few videos that I managed to record last year at Harpery. Okay, uh, the other thing you'll notice is that Boris is here again with a very muddy face, um, but I'm going to monetize my channel. Hopefully that'll bring me a little bit of cash in. Um, I don't think it'll ever pay for what I do, but it'll just offset a few of the expenses. And I am shortly due to retire from EDF. So of course, as a pensioner, I need every penny I can get. So thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who subscribes to the channel, watches the videos and keep it up. Thank you.